Max and the Magical Paintbrush Max was an ordinary boy with an extraordinary gift. From the moment he could hold a crayon, he loved to draw. His little room was filled with pictures of colorful forests, flying creatures, and smiling faces. While others saw blank paper, Max saw endless possibilities. Max, you have an artist's soul, his grandmother often said, admiring his sketches. Never stop creating. But Max's family was poor, and while his art brought him joy, it couldn't fill their empty cupboards. One day, as Max sat sketching under the shade of an old oak tree, he sighed. If only my drawings could make the world a better place, he whispered. Just then, a strange gust of wind rustled the leaves. Max turned to see a glowing object nestled in the grass. He picked it up and found a paintbrush, unlike any he had ever seen. Its handle shimmered with golden swirls, and the bristles sparkled like starlight. What a strange little brush, Max said. Curious, he dipped it into his paint set and began to draw a simple apple. As the final stroke touched the page, something incredible happened. The apple lifted off the paper, glowing softly, and landed in Max's hand. Max stared in disbelief. A magical paintbrush, he exclaimed. Over the next few days, Max used the paintbrush to help his family and neighbors. He painted food for the hungry, warm blankets for the cold, and even repaired broken roofs with drawn shingles. The village marveled at Max's kindness, and though the paintbrush could have made him rich, Max was content with helping those in need. But word of the magical paintbrush soon reached the greedy king who ruled the land. The king, who already had more wealth than he could ever use, wanted the paintbrush for himself. If I had that paintbrush, the king sneered, I could create gold and treasures beyond imagination. He sent his guards to Max's home. They banged on the door with heavy fists and demanded, by order of the king, hand over the paintbrush. Max clutched the brush tightly. It's not meant for greed, he said, his voice trembling but firm. It's meant to help others. The guards dragged Max to the castle and brought him before the king. The grand hall sparkled with jewels, but it felt cold and lifeless. Give me the paintbrush, boy, the king demanded, leaning forward on his golden throne. No, Max said, standing tall despite his fear. This brush has brought joy and kindness to others. It's not for selfish wishes. The king's face twisted with anger. If you won't use it for me willingly, then you will paint what I command. The king locked Max in a tower, where he was ordered to paint treasures for the royal vault. Day after day, the king barked commands, draw gold, paint jewels, create riches. But Max had a plan. As he painted the king's requests, he added tiny details the king didn't notice. A treasure chest filled with gold sprouted vines that grew uncontrollably, tangling the guards. A magnificent golden throne turned into a clunky, oversized chair that collapsed under its own weight. What is this nonsense? The king roared as chaos erupted in the castle. Max took his chance. With quick strokes, he painted a strong, swift horse and climbed onto its back. The magical painting leapt off the canvas and galloped out of the tower, carrying Max far away from the castle. Max returned to his village, where the people welcomed him with cheers. You stood up to the king, they said. You've shown us the true power of kindness and courage. But Max wasn't finished yet. Knowing the king would stop at nothing to reclaim the brush, Max painted a beautiful, enchanted garden around the village. The garden had walls of blooming flowers, streams that sparkled like diamonds, and trees whose roots ran deep, creating an unbreakable barrier. The greedy king tried to send his guards to take the brush, but the garden's magic kept them out. Max and the villagers lived in peace, using the paintbrush only to help those in need. One day, Max sat under the oak tree where he had first found the magical paintbrush. He thought about how much his life had changed. The brush had brought challenges and danger, but it had also taught him something important. Talents, like magic, are meant to be used for good, Max said, his hand resting on the paintbrush. Not for greed or selfishness. As if hearing his words, the paintbrush glowed softly. Max smiled, knowing he had chosen the right path. From that day forward, 
He continued to create, not for riches, but to bring light and happiness to the world.